my channel and for today's video we are going to do another haul um this is a different haul compared to the daiso haul so i went to the sasabe art store and i bought some stuff there i'm also going to share you some of the things that i got from other stores as well that may not be related to art anymore but if you're interested please just keep on watching um, i'm going to start with the art materials so um these are things that I got from Sasabe. So I got a Turner um, Artist Watercolor and I bought this as part of the giveaway um, in my Instagram account. So I'm just going to squeeze this into smaller um, half pants. So Turner Artist Watercolor is uh, about 1000 yen I think for 12 colors which is a pretty good price. And I also heard that this has a good um, quality. It's almost similar to Holbein. So let's move on to brushes. Um, of course, I got my Surikomi brush. So I got this brush from there. And I also decided to get the bigger ones. So these are the jumbo <laughs> Surikomi brushes. So this is size 2. And then I got size 5 and size 8. Um, so far, the prices are good in um, Sasabi Art Store. It's definitely cheaper compared to other um, stores. So I got size 5. This is about 800 yen. This is about um, 1000 yen. So this one is around 200 plus yen, Japanese yen. So I also got this um, brush with a clear ac acrylic handle and you can see that the edge right here is also pointy and this is a synthetic brush so this is quite cheap um can't remember the exact price but they have a they have a brand that's really affordable for an acrylic handle brush usually this type of handle is quite expensive but then sasabe it's quite affordable um and then i got this um sasabe brushes so they they have different kinds of brushes and from what i remember this one was about just 200 plus yen um which is a pretty good price for a brush so i i think this one is a synthetic hairbrush but i bought them to use for gouache um i don't really paint a lot with gouache but i wanted to um try buying brushes for gouache and i heard that synthetic brush is good for gouache so i'm gonna try this one out and then i got some colors uh this is the whole thing gouache i actually have a set already but i wanted to get more colors so this i think this is more expensive this is about 487 yen this is 287 i think so it's very cheap in japan i mean compared to buying um from your local store um i guess it's cheaper in japan because these are made in Japan as well. So if you're going to Japan, do try to buy um, brands that were made in Japan. So this is the whole bean gouache. And then I found something interesting. I actually have this pen um, from a previous trip to Japan. Um, this is the Sakura Micron pen. So probably in your country and also in my country the sakura pen has uh, like a khaki brown color um, but for the sakura micron pen in japan it's a different color so i i find it really really pretty it's like a blue um body case and then you have like a gold detail here so it's very nice i'm not sure if this is um, exclusive in Japan but I got several of them for a future giveaway as well so I'm just sharing with you this one is about 151 yen okay so we are done with the sasabe haul 
I didn't really buy a lot this time. Um, most of the things that I got were actually for giveaway. Um, and then let's move on to a pottery shop that I went to in Kyoto. What's the name? I think it's called Two One. Then I bought this is their cheapest um, ceramic ware, <laughs> and I couldn't afford the other ones. But this one is um, one thousand yen. It's pretty expensive for me for a chopstick rest, but I wanted to get like a souvenir from Kyoto. So it's also good that it's a chopstick rest, so it means that I can use it for my flat lace. So this is like a Kyoto um, pottery style so i think that the style is called the flowering um crystals so i'm i'm reading the handout that they gave me so they create this um flowering crystal if you, if you can see it clearly um so they use a glaze that crystallizes as it cools so i guess um the design looks like a flower and it says here that no two pieces are exactly alike. So I'll probably insert a video clip that shows you the design of this um, chopstick rest. It's a crane with like a blue glaze. Oh, and I forgot this. So I also got this from the Sasabe Art Store. This is the Saunders Waterford um, postcard pack. It's um, five, almost 500 yen. And this one has, I think it should be roughly 10 sheets. And this is 100% cotton paper. Let's just try to check out what it looks like. I bought this because of the layout of the paper and just wanted to try it because I haven't really bought something like this before Ooh. so it's really nice I guess um, I'm gonna try this one out next time but I do love the brand Saunders Waterford that it's the reason why I bought this as well because I've tried Saunders Waterford and I use it a lot for my final paintings And then this is something random as well. So we passed by a shop called Yuzawaya, and they have so many, um, so many like art stuff, crafty stuff, some sewing stuff, and a lot of things. And I saw this. Um, it's called um, the soft mold for UV resin. The brand is Padico. And I bought this because this is a mold for a ring. And in one mold, you get six sizes. So that's why I bought this. It's about 800 yen, I think. And I don't know, it's just interesting. I do want to make my own rings. It would be so fun to create my own ring. So the sizes are 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13. Um, I'm not sure if it's the same as the um, usual ring size that we know of, but I guess I'm going to try to create to make the size 5 first. And I'm going to let you guys know if I do um, try out my resin projects. Okay, so I'm so sorry if my voice sounds a little different it's because um, I got sick when I got home from our trip um, so lastly I got a few dried flowers from the shop natural kitchen I found this shop in um, the Namba station and I was amazed because the prices there were really really good um, these are dried flowers that I plan to use for flat lay and also I'm hoping I can use this for my resin projects. <clears throat> and this one is just 150 yen per bouquet, which I think is in a bad price. Because it's usually expensive to buy dried flowers. I'm not sure what kind of flower this is, but it looks pretty. 
And I've got lavender here. I've never seen dried lavender before. So that's really nice. And there's also another one over here. It's very pretty. So it's just 300 yen. <clears throat> And I actually just wrapped this in bubble wrap and put it inside my luggage. But one tip um, for you is to buy the, the document tube. You can find it in Daiso. And you can put the dry flowers in the document tube just to protect this um, flower because they're quite fragile. Um, I didn't have a choice, so I, I actually wasn't able to buy the document tube. So I just wrapped this in bubble wrap and well, they look okay now. They don't look like they were squished. So I would suggest getting the document tube instead so that you can really protect the dried flowers. <clears throat> so that's it for my mini haul again. Um, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and that it, this was helpful to you guys. I try to include the prices because I know that some people want to like plan for the trip and plan, of course, plan for your budget. I hope that the things here were interesting to you and that it will help you decide whether you want to get these items or not. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you can, please subscribe to my channel to see more of my art videos. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.